Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kidna. If you're new to this channel, we use this channel. We use astrology to help us manifest our goals. This channel is also about personal development and self-love. If you're into personal development, taking accountability, growth, and self-love, you're at the right channel. If you like using astrology to manifest your goals, you're at the right channel. All right. Thank you so much. Before I start, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and all my subscribers that's been with me since 2016. I is so appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Today's video, we're going to talk about the full moon in Capricorn. Are y'all guys ready for this full moon? Oh my God. It's not even the full moon yet. And I'm already, in my opinion, feeling it. It's like heavy for me i'm already looking at stuff to just let go of and giving thanks already so let's get started okay so we know capricorn is ruled by saturn and saturn is all about that discipline and structure and limitation okay so the first thing we're going to talk about is letting go this full moon is getting you prepared to let go of what is not necessary for you to move on with the new moon that's coming up. So pay attention, get your notebook, see what's going on in your life to let go of it, okay? Write whatever extreme thing that really matters to you so you can work on it to let it go so you will know what you would like to manifest for the new moon that's coming up okay now the second one is what lessons that's why you have to pay attention to your life you have to manage your life you have to be the ceo of your life nobody is going to help you if you don't help yourself okay pay attention get a notebook get a journal do something for yourself for yourself if you get the information from a teacher from a mentor anybody you have to do your own research you have to research you have to do your own details and guidance there's so much someone else can give you. There's so much information you can get from YouTube or books. You have to do your work too. And one thing, nobody else can pay attention to your life but yourself. Pay attention, see what's going on and write the lessons down as you're learning to get yourself prepared for the next new moon that's coming up. That's what full moons are all about. It's showing you what's going on so you can get prepared and manifest for the next, uh, how to say, chapter level, okay? All right, then we go to the last one gratitude 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 what are you grateful for what in this area of your life that has come to a completion a fulfillment a transition and lessons and gratitude what are you grateful for what did you learn you know what are you letting go that you're grateful for for example for me my Capricorn is sitting in my fifth house. Fifth house has to do with parenting, with children, with having fun, with creativity, self-creativity expression, with art, the inner child, and self-love. And what I know I'm letting go of is that I'm not going to... Um, focus on my past. I am moving forward and healing my inner child so I can move forward. So that's one thing I'm letting go of. So figure out where in your chart, even if I don't know if you have a chart or if you uh, know what a chart is, find out. <laughs> go to my video, see what birth chart means. Go to other people's video and learn about yourself. It starts with self. Okay, find out where your Capricorn sits and go by that energy. 
okay like i said for example if you have a capricorn sitting in your second house you have to let go or some kind of fulfillment is coming up about your self-value your self-worth your personal possession your personal money how you make money what you put in your mouth etc okay you have to know who you are and the way you find your um birth chart there's a lot of different astrology birth charts online one thing i'm gonna tell you you do not have to pay for any of them if it say you have to pay do not do it okay if you need one uh email me i i will have my email in the description and you can email and if you do want it i will recommend one okay now i always say always do your own research don't just go by what anybody says even me do your own research we are here for guidance and it's up to you with what you do with that information okay so once you know your birth chart see what house and you find your house when you know the exact birth time okay i know some people don't know the exact birth time, especially if they wasn't born or they don't have their birth certificate so but if you do have the exact birth time see which house your capricorn is sitting in if it's sitting in the third house that is all about you letting something go that has to do with communication soft distance something is coming to fulfillment about a small business something is coming up and you have to let go give gratitude and lesson okay so find out the more you know about that the more you can study who you are your life and what you're here to do okay all right this has been a long video <laughs> okay thank you so much for watching again if you into using astrology to manifest your goals subscribe today and thank you to all my subscribers that's been here with me since the beginning and all my new ones i'm coming up with new videos don't forget to get your self-love journals and my lulu bookstore the link will be in the description i have the self-love journal and i also have the abundance journal thank you so much again for watching and i will see you next time. Bye.